Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a doubles gameplay. This one is on Dispatch, and the title of the video is called Dominating Dispatch because, uh, believe it or not, it is actually quite easy to dominate Dispatch. So what you do off the bat is go for Overshield, obviously. We sent two people for Overshield, but another strategy you could do is have one person put shots into the people sprinting because, as you know, if you get shot while you are sprinting, you actually slow down. So if someone gets shot even once, it slows them down enough for them not to get overshield and to allow your teammate to get overshield. So you can either both rush OV right away or one person could put shots and the other should rush OV. But uh, I checked host before this game and I knew I had host. And Dispatch is one of those maps, maybe along with Solari, where host is pretty much going to guarantee a win if you are a good player. Uh, um, even if you're a decent player, if you're not even like that great, like host is so easy. So, knowing that I have host and picking dispatch, I know that it's going to be an easy match to begin with, but I'll explain to you how, what strategy you should use to, um, I guess, do really, really well in dispatch. Um, first thing you should do is know when OS spawns. OS spawns every two minutes. The first time you get it is about 11.55. So the next time, obviously, is 9.55, then 7.55. Um, it's every odd minute at around 55 to begin with and then it probably goes down to like 50 as you go on but uh, after you do that you always want one person with ring 3 control uh, you don't always need someone at ring 3 but if you don't have it the other team will have it and ring 3 is just such a dominant position that you pretty much need someone there at all times as you can see right now my teammates playing the ring 3 position I'm just kinda running around putting shots into people hoping you can finish people off and we end up just keep picking off kills. And you'll also notice that I had an ordinance that I called down a saw. Uh, this is the case for any map, not even on dispatch. But the saw is the probably the best weapon you can call down from ordinance, like ever, that they ever give you the option of in doubles. Sticky debt, yeah, railgun, yeah, but saw is better. I must say, saw is the best by far because it's not just a short range gun, as you can see right here. Like, I shoot abnormal from, like, a decent distance, and then Jordan just gets completely melted. The saw close range can take down a full overshield almost instantly. It's happened to me before, so you pick the saw at all times. Just, you know, sticky debt and railgun don't pick if you have the option of a saw. And otherwise, it's just personal preference. But you can see right now, my teammate is just ring three. So the way to dominate dispatch is to get ring three, and one person ring three, time OS's, and the other person can run around. And another thing, whenever you get ordinances, call down a saw. So what to do if you don't get overshield right off the bat? Um, one person should drop down and get sticky debt. A lot of people don't know that sticky debt is actually on this map. It's bottom mid. So you can get sticky debt bottom mid. And if you get sticky debt, you can take down the opponent's overshield pretty easily. So I definitely recommend doing that. If they get overshield, just drop down, pick up sticky debt, and then just try to try to kill the overshield guy, try to do as much damage as you can. But you can see, with one person ring three and me just roaming around, uh, we can put shots into people. Right now, I, I weakened Emperor, I weakened Abnormal, so I know that my teammate can put shots from the other side. I'm just trying to apply pressure. You know, I'm just trying to nade, because I know my teammate is ring three. If I do any damage to them, chances are we can pick up a kill. Um, another thing about putting a guy ring 3 is that every time they your opponents spawn, they will be focusing on the ring 3 guy, and it allows you, like I am doing, to just sneak up on the side. So, I have the saw. This guy really has no chance. I just melt him. Pick up his DMR. And then this guy ends up rushing me. I don't really want to die unnecessarily, so I just pre-nade him, and then I end up escaping. We notice that overshield is up, and my teammate ends up getting it. So right now, since we have overshield, we might as well rush in. My teammate's rushing that guy, and I know that this guy is probably still around here somewhere. And sure enough, he is. So my teammate ends up uh, winning his 1v1, and I'm in a 1v1 with Abnormal. Pulse grenades are extremely effective um, on dispatch when people are hiding behind pillars and walls. So I end up picking off my guy as well. And I take the Sticky Debt. The Sticky Debt, when you are host, is like a rocket. It seriously is, it's probably almost better than a rocket launcher. Like, maybe not quite, just because it doesn't have the speed or fire rate, and you have to, you know, it's only one shot to reload, but 
it pretty much is like a rocket launcher, so I definitely recommend using it um, if you are host specifically. So you can see right now, I'm playing the ring 3 position, and I'm just holding them off. They can't do anything. Um, my teammate goes ring 3 as well. You can have two people ring 3. Usually I don't recommend it, but which is probably why I'm, I'm not going ring 3, because my teammate was. So you can have two ring 3. It's a pretty effective thing to do, but I generally don't recommend it. So just to recap, time over shield. Always pick saw as your ordinance. Um... You have one person ring three, one roamer, and then you can dominate dispatch. That's the way to go. So we ended up winning that one. I had 20 kills. We won 29 to nothing. We couldn't get the 30th kill because uh, their team ended up quitting out. I think I ended up killing my teammate. Oh, no, I don't. All right. Um, so that is all. Hopefully you learned about how to play dispatch. If you want to know about how to check for host before game, and also in game then i can make a video on that so just let me know but otherwise like if you like the video comment if you have any constructive criticism or if you just want to give a nice comment and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and spread the news so that is it more gameplays to come and see you later